Hidden hinges are a huge help in many projects. I like to use these sauce hinges and my Festool Domino to install them. This is my technique. It's not necessarily the right one. It's one of many, but it's how I do it. First thing I do, obviously, is mark off spots on the pieces I want to install it. This is to line up the domino and make sure that the holes are in the same place. The hinge thickness is actually 13 millimeters, so I'm using the Festool Domino 10 millimeter bit. For each hinge, I need to make a series of cuts twice. The first series of cuts are set to a three quarter inch wood thickness, and I also set the domino depth to 20 millimeters because the hinge is 18 millimeters deep. At this point, I'm only making holes that are wide enough for the deepest part of the hinge. As you can see, the hinge part would fit within that hole, but it is not wide enough and deep enough. So I need to go back and cut again. I'm going to use this piece that I created out of PEX. It has a groove in the back that fits over the depth slide on the Festool Domino. This will make sure that I don't go too deep for the wings of the hinge. In order to cut this groove, I actually set up the top measuring piece 18 millimeters from the center part that I originally measured, and I cut each of my side wings. You can see how this gives the deeper center part and two shallow wings. I did this again on both sides, and then I had to change the height of the cut. I now moved down to 7 eighths of an inch and put this little piece in there because it's about a millimeter. The hinge itself is 13 millimeters across. The bit is only 10. I added 3 millimeters down. This matches the width of the hinge that I'm going to be putting in there. I repeated it on all sides, and then I have to take out my spacer so that I can go full depth. Because it's a simple clip on, I just pushed it down and dropped it back out. Now I'm able to do the center hole again at the correct depth to match the piece. Obviously I repeated this for all four pieces so that I had matching sides. You can see my test fit here with the two pieces. I didn't actually screw it in place at this point because I still want to uh, finish up everything, but the pieces went together very nicely. Everything fits together well. After I was done with the piece, I finished up the two top halves, and then I went ahead and installed the uh, hinges where they were supposed to be. I pre-drilled all the holes, and then inserted screws into it to hold it into place. I used a self-centering drill bit to make sure that everything was centered up so it would stay lined up, and I used number six screws at three-quarter inch length to hold them into place. Once the screws were in place, I was able to lay it flat and check the seam. Here you can see the final product in place, and you'll notice you can't even see the hinges. When it's opened, they look really good. 